What is cow soy? What makes up this delicious bowl of noodles? What is cow soy? This is cow soy. The most important part of the dish is the chili paste. A standard recipe would include chilies, ginger, turmeric, shallots, toasted coriander seeds, black cardamom, crushed and grind into a fine paste. The soup is created by frying the chili paste, cooking the chicken in the same pan, and adding in the coconut milk. Then, the soup is topped with an array of condiments, crispy egg noodles, green onions or cilantro, lime, chopped shallots, pickled mustard greens, and more chili either in paste or flake form. What is the backstory of this delicious bowl of noodles, and how did it gain its status in northern Thailand? Let's find out. The name khao soy has come to mean cut rice, but it can also be traced back to a Burmese word, khao sui, which just simply means noodles. Burmese? I thought this was a Thai dish. Well, by digging a little bit into this history, this dish actually originates from the Chin Ho, this term describes any Chinese migrants who first came to Burma and then settled into northern Thailand. Furthermore, many of these Chinho were the Hui people from southern China and the province of Yunnan. The Hui people are one of the 53 ethnic minority groups in China, with their own unique cultures, traditions, and religions. Notably, the Hui people are Muslim. The Hui people left China en masse because of the Panthe Rebellion. This is an event that took place in the late 19th century, during the Qing Dynasty. The Chinese Muslim, aka the Hui people, revolted against their Manchu rulers because of alienation and discrimination against them. When the Panthe Rebellion ended, it left in its wake over a million deaths, soldiers and civilians alike. Many Hui fled the imperial grass with the Manchus and migrated to Burma and Laos and eventually Northern Thailand. Therefore, khao soy appears to be a dish brought in by Chinese Muslims who make up a large part of the Chin Ho as a whole. And this dish is even sometimes referred to as Islamic khao soy. This is why khao soy is traditionally served with either beef or chicken. No pork, sorry. Although variations of khao soy exist with pork in other parts of Thailand, Burma, and Laos, the dish's origins are deeply rooted in the migration of the Hue from Yunnan, who adhered to the halal diet. When exactly was this dish invented? Did the Hue people bring this dish with them when they left Burma, considering the similarities between khao soy and khao sui? Did this dish come from Yunnan itself? Or perhaps somewhere in between, in the jungle, along one of the many ancient trade routes. This bowl of noodles sitting in front of us embodies the history of the people who have fought and struggled until they have finally settled to where they are today. This dish demonstrates how food evolves over cultures and time. It represents how Thailand's cuisine is intertwined with its neighboring countries. So here's my food for thought. Where do we draw the line for regional food? Who gets to claim a dish? And what makes it truly authentic? Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed our first video.